all right then two more fairly low yield concepts uh, associated or fairly low yield pathology associated with the third nerve one of them is called the argyll robertson pupil and the other one is called the ad's pupil now what is the argyll robertson pupil now argyll robertson pupil is something which is seen in people who have neurosyphilis all right now people with neurosyphilis have damage to their midbrain in particular the the fibers from that go from the pretectal nucleus to the dinger westphal nucleus like this these fibers are the one which get damaged okay so you can imagine what happens this causes a failure of a uh, failure of the light reflex okay the eye starts responding to light however the accommodation reflex is all right why because these fibers from the convergence center like right over here which is a star over here are all right these are okay but these fibers will go from the pretectal nucleus towards the dinger westphal nucleus are the ones which get damaged so this results in a failure of a uh, failure of the light reflex while accommodation reflex is preserved okay so you can imagine argyll robertson pupil it says in the same accommodation reflex preserved okay now what is the ad's pupil ad's pupil can be thought of as an exact opp opposite of the argyll Rob argyll robertson pupil my apologies and what happens over here is in some conditions the ciliary ganglion gets damaged in more specifically the the fibers that cause accommodation reflex get preferentially damaged okay so the light reflex is all right but the accommodation reflex gets damaged also seen in this ads in this condition is an absent knee jerk reflex why actually i don't know and nobody knows however there is a theory that the same condition which causes damage to the ciliary ganglion also causes damage to the dorsal root ganglion that is responsible for the knee jerk reflex so this is the argyll robertson this is the ad's pupil two completely opposite things okay and this concludes our lecture on argyll robertson and ad's pupil and possibly the third nerve okay if you have any questions let me know thank you